hey guys uh, welcome to my youtube channel and uh, this is my first video uh, and i hope you really like it and uh, if you found this video informative please do share with your friends and at the end of video i am going to discuss about my goals regarding this channel uh, and please stay with me at till the end of video and please drop a like on the video if you really love it or like it so on in the today video i am just going to introduce you to the robots and robotics and uh, if you are interested in robots so how can you boost or how can you start your career in robotics field so robots are way to change the future so robots are like everywhere we can see robots uh, in industries working automation uh, working on assembly and manufacturing stuff and now there are medical robots and now robots are carrying some space missions also so robots are really changing our future so where can we see robots robots uh, are everywhere but uh, generally uh, these are the sectors which robots have dominantly working from the past 10 years past 10 to 15 years so we have industrial robots that are working in industries uh, for manufacturing assembling purposes and we have medical robots and medical robots uh, are used for the surgeries and doing uh, assisting doctor in any kind of surgery and now we have a humanoid robot so what we all imagine robots look like this is what we have seen in movies humanoid robots it mimics uh, human actions and uh, but it don't have emotions and intelligence like human till us uh, till now so this is uh, this robot is Valkyrie, which is developed by nasa with the collaboration with mit and that is and this robot is used for space missions and uh, carrying out dangerous space uh, actions and we now have uh, some smart robots that have uh, some intelligence artificial intelligence built in so we have Pepperbot and that it have a facial recognition feature. We have Sophia that is uh, closest to humans and it uh, it greatly uh, mimic the human expressions quite very well. And uh, we have a uh, sorry, this is Spot. So we have a Spot robot which is developed by Boston Dynamic that mimic a dog. So like robots are everywhere and they are doing very great in their field. For the uh, task they have been created so they are doing very great now move to next slide so these are some questions i am going to cover into the video so what is a robot and does all automation because uh, we really re relate robot with automation so does all automation things uh, all the things which do automation stuffs are robot why we need robot why there is a need for a robot so what is robotics and its laws and where should i start if i am interested in robotics so that's quite a very great question so let us first discuss what is a robot so there are many definitions you can go on the web and search for it but i have picked only these two uh, one from the wikipedia and one from the ieee so according to wikipedia a robot is a machine so machine is anything which reduce human efforts or um, like it to uh, uh, help it to the task uh, efficiently more efficiently than humans so it is a machine robot is a machine especially one programmable by computer so what that mean is we can instruct our robot what we what it can do what it cannot do so that what the word programmable means capable of carrying out a complex series of actions automatically so maybe if uh, the robot want to navigate from us point a so this is point a and it wants to get to the point b so it can do it automatically so it can perform different type of actions and go to the point b a robot may be guided by an external control device so the robot plane may be control unit may be situated somewhere remotely and and mostly the control system is embedded with 
so to avoid the risk of like losing connectivity with the robot we uh, most of the control unit are embedded within the robots okay uh, according to the IEEE, uh, which is Institute of Electrical Electronics Engineering, a robot is an autonomous machine. So it is also an autonomous machine capable of sensing its environment. That is important. Robots, robots are just like us. Uh, we humans have five senses. And according to the senses, uh, what our senses are sensing from the environment, we are performing certain type of tasks. Okay. So robot robots are just like us they are sensing its environment at performing different type of actions and computations decision making etc so if we want to summarize what is a robot so robot is a, a machine which may be or may not have decision making capability or have some predefined rules to perform certain type of actions okay so it is what a robot is, is a machine which have predefined rules or have a decision making capability to perform certain kind of action. Okay. So does all automation things are robots? So uh, like we have different automation things uh, nowadays. Uh, our computer is full of uh, automation tasks. Okay, so does all the things that are related to automation are carry on by robots or they are something else? So the web is crawling with robots program to perform tasks online, including chatbots. Uh, we have known chatbots, scrapper bots that scrap data from the website, shop bots, Twitter bots. So these are bots, not robots. So what is the difference between bots and robots? So bots are generally just a software, a program, and a software that performs certain type of actions and that are built to do certain type of actions. And what is a robot? Robot is actually a body, actually something, physically something that is sensing from its environment, performing some actions. Okay, so robot is which have a body. Okay. So for a robot to be a robot, many robots agree, it has to be have a body. So for robot to be called a robot, it must have a body. Okay. Something that can create some physical motion. Some physical motion in its environment said had a scratch gadget at robotics. So anything that create some physical motion in its environment. For example, uh, if we take mass robot and the mass robot moves from point A to point B, so there is something like physical motion which it is creating in the environment. So that's what we call a robot. It is, it must contain, it must have a body and sensing its environment, performing certain type of actions. So now a, a mechanical engineer professor at Cornell University, they said that it has the ability to change the something in the world around you. So robot must have an ability to change something in the world around you. Okay, so maybe uh, if robot moves or robot from one point to another point, there is an impact on the ground due to its motion. So it is like changing the environment. So that's what all about robot. A robot must have a physical body. It can sense its environment, perform the action according to predefined, or maybe have a it it have a decision making capability. So why we need robots? So this is very a straightforward answer their question. Okay, because they are really better from us. Okay, because they are really better from us. They have uh, increased efficiency. Increased efficiency. They work very efficiently and they can work for very long hour without tired getting tired they can do repetitive and dangerous tasks without complaining and also the robotics uh, so means robots are really creating some new jobs that's just like for us developers which are working on robots hardware or software so new jobs are getting created so uh, in short because they are better from us and they give more productive work than from their human counterparts so here is why is robotic automation is relevant so because better 
manageable repeatable tasks reduce error rates improve standardize of process workflow these all points are considering by considering all these points we can say that they are better from us and they can give more productive work than the human counterpart so therefore we have a need for robots so the companies or for any purposes we need robot so that we can get best out from them so what is robotics now robotics is what we call study of robot so if we are studying a robot we are creating a robot that what we call a robotics okay so isaac asimo popularized the term robotics so the term robotics is popularized by isaac asimo asimo and he invented he gave three laws of robotics means he uh, if we are creating any robot uh, it must follow these three laws so first law is a robot may not injure a human being or through in action allow a human being to come harm so uh, this is what we have seen in movies that a robot or a humanoid robot is injuring or maybe hazardous or maybe dangerous to human civilizations they are wiping out the human so this is the first rule the human uh, a robot may not um, never harm a human being or robot must obey the order given it by human beings except where such orders would conflict with the first okay so uh, the order given to a robot it must uh, follow and uh, accept the order such like uh, if i created uh, we have seen in the movie robot that is created by the uh, by the scientist uh, and that robot turns evil and uh, goes on rampage and killing every other human so that robot must not obey the such type of orders given by a uh, mad scientist like killing other humans okay a robot must obey the orders given it by human beings except where such orders would go so the i guess this law is repeated sorry for that and i guess i will uh, i will discuss okay so no issues i will not discussing the third law and i also doesn't remember the third law i'm moving forward so so where should i start if i am interested in robotics so if you are really interested in robotics uh, the first thing is that you have to build your foundation what is the first that you build your foundation okay so uh, you may opt for advanced maths and science course in your uh, schools high schools and then pursue a degree in technology uh, maybe uh, in india now robotics degree are available in some colleges we can pursue that so first thing is build fundamentals and knowledge create your knowledge bank uh, in your mind and work on some projects also to build your fundamentals but this uh, but along this does not help we need experience real time experience so we have to do some internships and jobs okay so these here we are uh, what really important here we can build our experiences from real life task and how can manage our things with real time stuffs and and after that if we have a job experience of like 3 to 4 years and if we want to increase our knowledge in robotics we can pursue higher education there are many master programs and in master program we can roll about uh navigation control system and many other things that are really amazing so increase your knowledge domain and this thing never stop we are on our life we are continuously increasing our knowledge domain and more our knowledge domain more we get jobs and internships okay so this is the basic and we have to follow this we have first our build our fundamental we are start working from our school time uh, okay in high school we opt for advanced maths course we uh, build our concept of algebra trigonometry physics computer science and then we pursue our bachelor degree and then we 
go for internship jobs and that's so on let's go to higher education so um so in future um if you like this video please do drop a like and uh, because i am new to this plus platform and uh, i am making the video first time there have been some mistakes i am sorry for that so uh, in future i am decided to uh, create content on ross which is a robot in uh, operating system and i will start some basic of ross and also made some video on projects that we can build using ross okay so what is uh, ross is a robot operating system it is a middleware which is used to develop a robotic application so in future i will create some playlist regarding ross and i hope uh, this video is uh, really helpful to you or informative to you uh, please drop a like thank you so much and if you like the channel please subscribe thank you